Hello, everyone. Today we're here with Heather from Rocky Mountain Advisory. Heather, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Lindsay. My name is Heather Dennison, and I work for Rocky Mountain Advisory. We are a forensic accounting firm in Salt Lake City, and we offer a range of services, whether that's for business valuations, divorces, we help in bankruptcy, restructuring, um, anything that relates to the the courts and a financial expert is needed, that's where we're able to assist. Uh, would you please explain when a question of business evaluation can arise in the context of a divorce action? When would that be necessary? Yeah. So a lot of times in a divorce, the business that the spouses have been working on is their largest marital asset. And so what that means is that when we're dividing a marital estate for equitable division, we need to place a value on that business. So then, you know, more often than not, one of the spouses is going to be paid out. Typically, you're not going to see the spouses continue working in the business together or one of them maintain a business interest when they're no longer married. And so that's where we can step in and we can say, okay, let's analyze the financials. Let's look at the history of the business and let's put a dollar value so then one of the spouses can be bought out um, to assist in that division. Is there a way to prevent, let's say, a spouse from knowing they're going to get divorced in the future and kind of sabotaging the business in a sense that it makes less money? So by the time that is evaluated, um, the business is worth less money. Is that something you see often in your field or is that prevented by... Um, analyzing the data as going back a few years to see how much money it was making in the past. You know, it certainly happens. Um, you know, if someone's preparing for a divorce, who knows what they may be planning to do. However, when we're analyzing a business, we look at more than just the most recent year. We are going to look at the historical data and we're going to say, you know, how much were you guys making? How much were you spending? And were you consistent in your application of that? You know, additionally to that, we can look at market data and say, when comparing your business to other businesses in the same industry, in the same market, are you operating at the same capacity or are you deliberately operating at a lower capacity for reasons of a, you know, pending divorce? So we can analyze it from multiple different facets to make sure that we are preparing, you know, an accurate valuation uh, for that payout into my next question, which is how can you help someone with a soon-to-be ex-wife or soon-to-be ex-husband whom they believe is hiding the true value of their company? Great question. So what we would do is we would get into the details of the business, into the transactional level uh, details, and we would look for, um, you know, cash withdrawals that aren't being reported anywhere else. We would look for assets being purchased but they're being reported as business assets when really they're marital assets. Um, we would assist in identifying actual income earned by the business owner. We would identify, you know, personal expenses that are being run through the business. So that really plays into, you know, alimony and child support calculations. And so by getting into the details of the business, we, we can assist individuals going through a divorce in, in multiple different ways. Are you also able to find like ghost employees, people who don't actually work there, but money is being paid to them? Yeah, absolutely. We can look at the payroll level details and identify if, you know, these supposed people are on the payroll, but, you know, do they even exist or are they being paid a reasonable salary? I mean, some people will put family, friends on their payroll and pay them an inflated amount to remove income from the business. And so, Again, we can look at historical data or even industry data to say, are you paying a market value for that employee? If business owners feel like a divorce is inevitable, what should they start doing to prepare for divorce in the sense of their business? The best thing that they can do is keep great records. You know, what's going to happen, regardless of how you know clean you've been running your business, that the person on the other side is likely going to assume something nefarious has been happening, whether or not that's the case. 
And so you want to be really diligent in maintaining the really good records, not commingling business and personal expenses, um, and being willing to be very transparent um, and knowing that really every decision that you've made is going to come under review. Playing field here, that's before they, when they're preparing for divorce. But what about if they're going through a divorce currently and they're a business owner? What advice do you have for them? It would be, um, again, don't change the way that you've been running the business. So if you're going through a divorce and all of a sudden you start running a bunch of extra expenses or the business is all of a sudden running at a loss, it's going to look very suspicious. So just make sure that you're operating it the same way that you always have been. Um, that you're not commingling uh, business and personal expenses. And then I would say, you know, just understand that everything that you've done is probably going to come under review. You're going to be asked a lot of questions. You're going to be, there's going to be a lot of documents that are requested from you. So some patience, understanding, and transparency are, are all good qualities to have when going through that process. On your website, underneath Forensic and Investigating Accounting Services, mm -hmm. um, what are the Forensic Investing Accounting Services and what issues do they help in resolving divorce? Great question. So when it comes to Forensic and, and um, Investigative Accounting, that really encompasses all of the, um, the services that we offer that are related to um, a legal arena. And so what that looks like is we can offer more than just business valuations when going through a divorce. We can identify, you know, lifestyle um, of the spouses, analyzing their income, determining their expenses, which can assist with alimony and child support. Uh, we can assist with um, identifying maybe hidden assets. Uh, we can identify, you know, tracing of separate property. We can assist with tax implications for any of the division. And really all of that boils down to um, us providing that, you know, forensic service, which means getting into the details of the financials um, and putting values on everything. All my questions very fully. Um, do you have any parting words for us about Rocky Mountain Advisory? Just that, you know, if you're going through um, a situation where finances are involved, it can be pretty overwhelming. Um, so it's nice to have someone in your corner who's willing to be transparent and honest with you. And I think that's, you know, really what we hold ourselves to here at Rocky Mountain. I wanted to get in contact with Rocky Mountain Advisory. Where were, What was the best form of communication? Um, so you would want to just give us a call. It's uh, 801 Four two eight sixteen hundred, 1600 and we'll be able to, um, you know, get you in touch with the right person so we can get started on your case. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.